when you go up to Tulsa, they get you by two points. Tonight you win by 17 in a game that never felt that close. What were the biggest differences tonight? Well, I thought we did a great job against two of their big scorers, Clark and Grovey. You know, Grovey hit 10 threes in her last game out. Uh, I thought we, we shut her down. She, did, she didn't get many looks. She had three shots the first half, didn't take any the second half. Clark came out the second half, going to the hoop a little bit. We knew she was going to. She got a couple baskets, but for the most part, we contained them. The other big difference is when we were in, when we were in Tulsa, we're, we were coming off our Christmas vacation, Plus, we started the conference with the bye, so we had all these days off. Tulsa had played a conference game prior to that. I think they played ECU, and we we basically we we played up in Tulsa like it was our first game in in, in like ten days, and and I think that was a big difference because we were up there, we were sloppy. Here, we were more determined. All right, you mentioned Kelsey Grovey. I was going to ask. She lit it up at UCF with 10 three-pointers, what, what was the key? How did you shut her down and take away those looks? Well, we mirrored her a little bit more. We, we didn't just uh, play our normal man defense. We, uh, we, I thought we did a good job reading their plays. She does a good job of setting herself coming off the screens and coming off stagger screens. And Gabby guarded her most of the first half. And, you know, Gabby doesn't let too many people uh, get loose, and she's going she's gonna to cling to you. But I thought overall we did a great job, and I just told our team in there, I said, you know, when players got loose, got to the rim, turned the corner, they have no idea how many times Steph bailed them out. Oh, they, if, if we got beat or they got downhill on us, I mean, Steph was there to alter a shot or, or uh, get one of her seven blocks. Stephanie, you set the season record last week, and then tonight you set the single game record for block shots in a game. How much, how aware are you during a game? Do you keep track of those things in your mind? Did you know you were close to the record? Yeah, um, well I knew tonight, because like I'd had six before and I was so disappointed with myself, I didn't get one more. So tonight I was just so determined. Once I had that, once I started getting four and five, I was like, I'm not gonna let up now. So I had to get it. So is the single game blocks record a bigger deal to you than the double-double with points and rebounds? Uh, yeah, it is right now. I love getting blocks, I reckon it's awesome. <laughs> it's rare to hold a team to single digits in a quarter. You did it twice in the first half. Tulsa scored six points in the first and second. What was the message, when you hold a team down to 12 points and a half, what was the message at halftime? Three words, don't let up. That was it, that's what I started the conversation at halftime. It is, it's a coach's biggest fear when you have a lead like that. And no matter what you tell kids, what, and they say, coach, we got it, we're good, we're good, and you go out, you still, you're not, you're not always sharp, whether it be defensively, it's not just offensively, but defensively letting up, it's sometimes kids just, it's like a natural reaction to let up, and that was my biggest fear. And, because you wanna, you wanna play two good halves not just one good half. And although that first half, they, they were very determined, they were on a mission, you still want to play that second half like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. And, you know, they, Tulsa came out, they're going to hit shots. I mean, they're, good, they're a good shooting team. You know they're going to hit some shots. Uh, they had some runs the second half. Fortunately, it wasn't too big of a run. We talked about Stephanie's blocks. How much of your defensive game plan is built around her ability to either erase or at least alter shots? Well, uh, if I had it my way, we wouldn't get beat in the front line, or the, uh, uh, I should say, on the perimeter. It's like I told our kids during one time out, I said, listen, I prefer for us to not have to rotate in the paint. But, and, and what you do is you put your post at risk at times for foul trouble. That's my biggest concern. You saw Deja and Alicia both picked up two fouls. And that was my biggest fear, is Steph getting into foul trouble. When we were at Tulsa, that was the other thing that hurt us. Our posts were in foul trouble, and we had guards playing the four and five position up there. So that, I mean, that's, that's huge when you get all your post players in foul trouble. So thankfully, uh, Steph stayed out of foul trouble. All right, not every tall player is a great shot blocker. Apart from height, what makes a great shot blocker? Um, I think being able to read it, apply your head. So like, I know I read the other players, so when they're driving, I'm just dipping on over there to go block that shot. I don't like worry about my player much because I know my teammates have got my back as well. They should be dropping down anyway.
when you play a team for the second time, do you, how much do you remember what they did the first time you met them and what was or wasn't effective? Um, I always remember a fair bit because before a game I go into it and I look over, I usually watch a bit of it, a bit of the quarter that we played last time and I make sure some of the stuff doesn't happen again. Like this last time they played us, they dominated, kind of dominated us in the post a bit and I was making sure that wasn't going to happen this time. You come off of this game, you go to Orlando to face UCF, who you beat by 15 a few weeks ago. What does this game do as far as a springboard into your game with UCF? I, I think when you have a game like this, you can only build on it, give you confidence. But even though we won by 15, that was here. You know, this is a road game. It's, it, it's different. Uh, you know, the thing that this team I've, I've tried to preach is we've got to have consistency. So, all right, we, we, we played well against Tulsa. Now, what are we going to follow it up with? You know, that's, that's, that's the message that when we when we come back into practice we'll talk about is are we going to have that consistency and and follow it up and come back and and play another good game that's the thing that we've been trying to do all all year we've been a little up and down in that area